Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to find the execution time of a program or if we want to find the execution time of certain statements or methods within the Java. So what we need to do is to use our system.nano time command. So how we can do that? First of all, we need to go to file, we will click on new and we will create a Java project. Okay, so file, sorry, file, new and Java project. Here we will write the name of Java project as execute time. Okay, so we will click on next and then on finish. Okay. After our project has been created, we will click on this expansion button. We will right click on SRC folder. We will go to new and click on class. Here we need to write XZ underscore time. You can write any other name of your own choice for this class. Okay. So we also need to click on public static void main function and we will click on finish. It will create both the void main function and one public class for us. Here you can see that. Now, now what we need to find the execution time of a certain statement. So first we will declare one variable that is called as t underscore s. Okay. So what is long and what is t underscore s? t underscore s is just a simple variable. And why we have written this t underscore s name because we want to store certain time in it. Okay. And wh wh why we have written it is t and s. It means a time of starting. Okay. Time of starting. But you can write any other name of your own choice. Okay. No specific need to just write this name. Okay. So now what is long long is a special data type. Okay. So what long is doing here, it will store a big number. Okay, big number means that a number which is uh, having uh, a big size, which is not, which, which cannot be confined inside the integer data type. So that is why we have written this long. And here we will write system dot nano time. Okay, system dot nano time. Now nano time is a function which belongs to system class and now what it 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 will do it will it will just tell the, the what is what is the time okay uh, okay in the system okay what is the time in the system and it will express it in the nanoseconds okay now now we will go for like uh, one more thing that is called as long and t underscore finish that is finishing time so again we will write system dot nano time and the same thing now first the time will be will be given to will be will be given by this method that is nano time to this variable that is t underscore s okay and the second thing and after obviously in between this statement and this statement, obviously there is some time. There is some there is some some time passage. Okay. So now we, we also need to write like system dot print ln system dot out. Okay. Dot out dot print ln. So System dot out dot print ln okay, so now this thing, so long t underscore s is equal to system dot nano time, t underscore f is equal to system dot nano time. So now what will happen now? First, this thing will 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 note the first time okay, okay. It is just like a clock, and now system dot out dot print ln this thing. So this print command will obviously take some time. And then we will again note the time. Okay, means it's just like seeing of the clock. And here we will write long diff long difference, like because 
we have to minus we have to minus the second time first time from second time so we will write t underscore f minus t underscore s okay why because we want to find the time difference time difference means how much time has been passed okay so we will write we will copy it and okay now now our difference of time has been stored inside this long and def okay so here we will write system now we want to see that what is the time system dot out dot dot print ln so this is diff this is diff system dot out dot print ln so this is diff and now this is our nanoseconds that is it is one one thirty thousand one thirty seven okay it is one three seven eight thousand okay so these are the nanoseconds and you can also write like plus and here nanoseconds and underscore nanosecond if you want okay so this is the concatenation operator it will join this thing and nanosecond so we will run it out and now it is nanosecond it is written nanosecond so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe